This is a video of one of the first prototypes I got to work quite efficiently in front of a fan about 20 feet away on low. After that, I decided to file a provisional patent to allow myself to work with in universities all over Seattle. I built this next prototype with a few students and professors at the University of Washington and was able to test it at the Kearson Wind Tunnel. It proved that our technology is more efficient at low wind speeds than a turbine and also reinforced the idea that it is a kinetic art sculpture that is not only functional but more environmentally friendly. We then took our terrapin efforts to the water and started producing hydroelectricity. This first model was designed out of a water noodle and floats on top of the water tunnel at University of Washington. Once we perfected creating hydroelectricity on top of the water, we went under and created a prototype that would be similar to something that would be installed to harvest oceanic currents, tidal currents, and simple rivers and streams that are gravity fed throughout the world. The dragonfly's consistent motion is keeping the pump working and water flowing at a rate which could provide a small village with clean drinking water or provide enough water for a small crop. Notice the trees in the background are barely registering the breeze, but due to its large surface area of the wings and the high angle of attack, even low wind speeds are enough to power the dragonfly. Unlike a wind turbine, terrafin technology is efficient in low currents, inexpensive to manufacture, reliable in heavy currents, has a low cost of maintenance, quiet operation, is environmentally friendly, aesthetically pleasing, and can be made out of a wide variety of materials, allowing it to be mass produced and easily adopted around the world. A rotational control system allows the wing or wings to sweep back into the direction of the current, bringing terrafin power to a halt and making it act at that point simply as a weather vane. This makes it much more aerodynamic and gives it a far more streamlined profile than any turbine on the market. We like to say it knows how to hibernate or go dormant to avoid overstress on the moving parts that lead to high wear and tear. To learn more about our project, please visit us at terrafin.com. Thanks for watching.